Aerial footage of Treasure Island shows piles of debris left after Hurricane Helene struck the Florida city and mostly empty roadways as the area braces for Hurricane Milton. The city is still reeling from the devastating flood and wind damage from Helene. Steady rain fell and winds began to gust in the Tampa Bay area Wednesday morning as a mighty Hurricane Milton churned toward a potentially catastrophic collision with the west coast of Florida. Major bridges around Tampa Bay planned to close in the afternoon, she said, and public shelters were open for evacuees. Milton rapidly strengthened in the Gulf of Mexico on Monday, becoming a Category 5 storm on a path toward Florida. Mexican officials organized buses to evacuate people from the low-lying Gulf Coast coastal city of Progreso, on the Yucatan Peninsula, after Mexico's National Meteorological Service said Milton may hit between Celestin and Progreso late Monday or early Tuesday. Celestin, on the western corner of the peninsula, is low-lying nature reserve home to tens of thousands of flamingos. Progreso, to the east, is a shipping and cruise ship port with a population of about 40,000. Yucatan State Governor Joaquin Diaz ordered the cancellation of all non-essential activities except grocery stores, hospitals, pharmacies, and gas stations starting around midday Monday. Dozens of residents and tourists lined up with suitcases and other belongings Monday to catch an evacuation ferry off Holbox Island, on the eastern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. Holbox, popular for its shallow seascapes, may be one of the closest points that Hurricane Milton brushes before moving toward Florida. The low-lying island tends to flood even with a light rain. Off and on resident Marilu Macias was calm and smiling but was afraid of what Milton could do to the island. We decided it's better to go to someplace safer, Messiah said of herself and her daughters. Milton looms in the Gulf less than two weeks after a catastrophic Hurricane Helene swamped the coastline and killed more than 230 people. Hurricane Milton's sustained wind speeds increased to 180 miles per hour Monday afternoon, the the U.S. National Hurricane Center said. The Category 5 storm, located 80 miles off the coast of Progreso, was moving east at 10 miles per hour. According to the National Hurricane Center's Live Hurricane Tracker, Milton will make landfall on the west coast of Florida on Wednesday evening. It's expected to be a Category 3 storm when it hits the shore and will barrel across the state through major cities.
importante es que sepamos que esta noche va a ser una noche muy larga para los yucatecos. Empezará a sentirse lo fuerte de los vientos aproximadamente a las 9 o 10 de la noche en el puerto de Celestún. A la medianoche aquí en Progreso y Mérida y hasta el amanecer en la parte oriente del estado. Mis hijas tienen alrededor de seis años viviendo acá. Yo vengo por meses y me vuelvo a ir. Pero esta vez pues me tocó estar acá y pues mejor nos vamos a otro lugar más seguro. Ya, ya salió. Tenemos dónde. 